Wow, are people now really calling for the ban of TikTok because people are using it to show their support for the Palestinian people? This is pretty wild. As the war rages on between Israel and Hamas, another battle is being fought on TikTok. Was every single part of the hospital a Hamas base? My heart is with Israel and yours should be too. If I can overcome my pro-Israel bias and learn about this conflict, so can you. Young people on both sides sharing messages of support and activism. Other posts promoting division and even hatred. Adults under 30 are increasingly turning to TikTok for information. A 2022 Pew study found about a quarter of young people regularly get news on the app. Joan Donovan studies social media at Boston University. Basically, you're just watching content that's 15 seconds to a minute long. And so any nuance of uh, conflict on the scale of Israel and Hamas is going to be lost in the details. 13-year-old Melanie Goldstein is Jewish and lives outside New York. When she scrolls TikTok, she says she tends to see videos about Palestinian casualties. All of the videos that I've come across, it's not like things that are happening in like Israel and like the effect of the war on Israel. It's only like on Palestine. Do you feel like... Okay, so start following more people talking about what's going on in Israel, instead of following people talking about what's going on in Palestine, if that is your issue. There tend to be more people posting pro-Palestinian views? Yes. A couple of weeks ago, former tech executive Jeff Morris went viral for a long thread on X, accusing TikTok of anti-Israel bias, saying it was part of why Israel was losing the information war with high school and college students. And last Wait, so now the Israeli government has a war on high schoolers and college students? Like, where? why do they have an information war against them? That's weird. Last week, Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher wrote an op-ed headlined, Why do young Americans support Hamas? Look at TikTok. The hate we're seeing spew. Wow. Now, supporting innocent Palestinian people and them not dying from... A military campaign it doesn't mean you support Hamas, but certain people want to try to equate that to make people supporting innocent kids and stuff, you know, being killed as like, you know, some that they're bad for not supporting the Israeli government. Dude against Jewish Americans on TikTok should remind us of the basic facts. And the fact is that this app is controlled by a Chinese company that is at the behest of the Chinese Communist Party. An NBC News analysis found a pretty even split between young people watching pro-Palestinian or pro-Israeli content on TikTok in the past 30 days. Videos with the hashtag Stand with Palestine were viewed 20 million times, while videos with the hashtag Stand with Israel were viewed 18 million times. TikTok says unfortunately... So there's not a real bias on TikTok against uh, Israeli people or people wanting to know about what the Israeli government is doing. So there is no real like debate here or anything, just some nonsense by some people on one side. At least some misinformed commentators have mischaracterized our work to prevent the spread of hate speech and misinformation surrounding the crisis in Israel and Gaza, especially as it relates to anti-Semitism. The platform says since the start of the war, it's removed more than 925,000 videos in the conflict region for violating policies around violence, hate speech, misinformation, and terrorism, including content promoting Hamas. And says its detection systems are evolving. What we're seeing on TikTok is not unfamiliar from all of the other misinformation we've seen during moments of intense crisis. TikTok also points out they are not the only social media platform seeing a lot of content about the war and dealing with misinformation or harmful posts. And this can get even more serious, right? In 2018, the Research Institute RAND Europe found evidence of groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda pushing propaganda on social media. And the Department of Homeland Security warned in 2019 for some violent extremist movements, the online space appears essential to their growth. With Hamas, law enforcement officials tell NBC News fear they fear 
fear that social media could be used, guys, to inspire lone wolf attacks. What's scary about mm -hmm. it is it's radicalizing videos mm -hmm. potentially, mm -hmm. and these hostages.